Hello and welcome to part 16, Red here, presenting you a Byzantine Empire. Well, our sons are still dying, and that is terrible, and we can't do anything about it. So, let's continue. Currently, we're still fighting off Hum. And the troops are now retreating over. Hey, goodbye. Have fun in Rus. Are you serious? She was... She was in Castile. How could she have died? Oh, this is terrible. We're just gonna have someone die every episode, isn't it? It's not gonna be that bad. She's going to be the end of my series. What am I going to do about that? Oh, Chrysa... Uh, gone, you're just so bad. Please, uh, just go away. <laughs> no. No, stop it. I need her excommunicated now. I need her gone. She's supposed to be in Rus. She's not supposed to be here. She's supposed to be gone. Oh, wait, she, don't kill in Iberia. Don't kill in Constantinople. Go, go somewhere else. I only want you gone. You're killing off my entire line. Oh, and a crusade for Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So, His Holiest Pope Nicholas III has been swayed for his cries for helping the Christian population in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He has all able bodied men in Europe to take arms against the evil Sultan Bariochus of Cedric Sultan in order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of the Memo Medin and Fedel's Grand Grand Pilgrimage of its sins in heaven. No consider of ours. This is going to be interesting. So it's you. Not you. You. Hey, you're not finding it's star. All Christianity. So have fun with that. Sort of wish this wall would go a tiny bit faster. No, people no longer angry about having all levies uh, raised. Oh, one child likes a guardian. Oh, you're a dwarf. Congratulations, you're now going to be educated by opinion. Well, we'll make you a fine tactician diplomat thingy. There you go. There you go, and that should conclude the war. And my bishop dies. Very good. You'll have to do next. Would be a good idea to flip this, wouldn't it be? I'm good, but you can do it. Born two percent. That would be a heretic noble. Oh well, I'll just have to go there. Here we find the wall. Goodbye, you put your my leash now. Army leash. Something along those lines. And our uh, namesake is now fixed once more. I'm sure it's going to be unfixed. It'll break itself once more. Again, as usual. 
Count Michael of Philadelphus claims that Duke's Michael of Appears is attempting to promote pile well heresies. I shall use this for information. So Egan Mike, you absolutely hate me. You are tough Siljoy Hedonist. Slothful, gluttonous, patient, shy, cynical. What if we just threaten them a tiny bit? Eh, hopefully it won't completely backfire. There we go. It just hit me a tiny bit. But that is fine. So I think the next course of action is to see who we have truces ending soon. So in one year we can have we'll attack the Knights Templar. Please do success in Brinnenson. You converted them already. Oh, you're very fast. Very good. Still won't be orthodox though. We can't really do much about that. And you likely a tiny bit more. Very good, things are starting to look up a tiny bit. So let's take a look at Jerusalem. So currently they'll be you know, being attacked, not you. Ah, there we go. Diplomatic relations between you, no. Got it wrong. It was that land. What are you on? Oh, I am confused. Hey, we can just a simpler way. The Pope is now hostile to you, and you have no one. No one's helping you. Oh, never mind. You have Egypt, parts of Italy, and from up here fighting, so it's quite interesting to see. Oh, and there's 10,000 men at my borders trying to see Armenia. Uh, my heart missed a beat when I saw Gyrus emerge from the dungeons covered in grime with a bloody knife in his hand. What have you done? I don't know. It's not good. Who you could have killed? No one. You're just there. Aren't we turning out to be a delightful family? Oh, we are so screwed. What can we do? Let's hold a feast. Feast sounds great at this point. More feasting. We'll just drink our palms away. Go. The traveler dances first dance for us, and dancing to a fast and glad tune when we we want to dance, inviting everyone to join them. I danced until I panted and my face was red. Then I had to sit down and rest for a while, watching the dancers and the courtiers having fun. Been a long time. And we'll send out, yeah, send out Marshall. Okay, we can get the beast for us. Ah, 
and uh, you. Oh, you're probably the one who I have duchy for. Is that right? Oh, you own it for some apparent reason. What was this one? I don't like you either, so I'll make it her. There you go. I don't like you either. There you go. Now you're buried. Like should be. I don't know what I'm gonna do about you. Probably revoke that. No, uh, not that one. Convoke you. But I cannot revoke you. It's quite interesting. Vassals, most people like me these days. Only a small handful do not like me. You absolutely hate me because oh, yeah, you're the person I conquered, so. I go have some money. Ooh, and now I become friends with the Agni Islands. Good to know. Ooh, a new development has arrived. Salerino is now free. Which means I do not have a truce against you. Which means I can claim... Oh, I do have a truce. Yeah, I have a truce on you? I guess I do. It's odd that a pulia was uh, something I had. I can just claim that. Pulia revolt, so I can claim one both of you. And now, yeah, just take that. Say we go and do that, we get two pieces of land. Slowly expand our empire. There's that it's a pitiful amount of troops. So let's gather up a small army. Nothing too much. No, we've got a few troops too. Get 2,000 men. It's more than enough. And we should throw in a few more. We can just assault this holding, then we should have no problem at all. Taking the land for ourselves pretty fast before he can surrender to his own liege. Even that land will be ours in no time. Or not, it's just gonna be hers. What fun. Oh, you have a truce. How could you have just surrendered so quickly? Hey, 
I must have died. Bad omen. During a nice family outing in the river, everyone suddenly noticed that the talented Nandi listening, standing on top of the old tower, smiling and looking straight at my little daughter, she cried out, I love you! Cryus Gone and calmly took a step forward into the empty air, falling into the ground, with black clothes flapping like the wound to some huge crow. Cryosin laughed delightfully as loud thumb clapping her hands as everyone stared in utter shock and disbelief. Oh, that's... I have no words. And you need to go study in Paris. Men to go send them across. Oh, only 164 men? I think that can easily be sold. Maybe pull someone from here. There you go, prepared to die. Clear conscious and not dead yet. There was a sign of relief. Oh, and you believe all under uh, rum. I don't think I'll be using that anytime soon. My daughter's done now. Isn't that lovely? It's only a matter of time till I'm done. If he's now 16, he's not the one I'm intending to become. About five days from insulting this. Oh, of course, stack fails. Put a few more troops on there. Yep, ten times now. No. I think at five times we'll be able to take this. Fingers crossed. There we go. And we'll actually just power everyone on there. Let's get this wall over with. Want to be done by Christmas. Oh, we'll have to bounce on you one more time. They will just simply outnumber you. For pitiful 320 men. And we have one child, like a guardian. 
Regina Gomorrah, you shall be pinion. Okay. Let's go and attack you. Yep. Well, 60 days away from having war with. Having war against the Knights Templar. And why are you back? Up to the current king. Oh, totally makes sense. So, <laughs> I think I need to end this part here. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.